Hello, Virgo, Virgo rising, and Virgo moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting July 24th, 2017. And a quick reminder for all of you Virgo people out there, um, if you are watching this and you are living in the Eastern Hemisphere, okay, East Asia, going out to Australia, India, all the, if you're out that a ways, you're probably a day ahead of me anyway, okay? So make sure to adjust accordingly. If I say something happens on Monday in the Western Hemisphere, it's happening on Tuesday in your neck of the woods. Remember, astrology doesn't really care you know the planets don't really care about the 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 the, the gregorian calendar uh or anything man-made so it's important to pay attention to that now i do have a also a, a a quick little surprise for everybody those of you who have um purchased and downloaded the tarot home study course or those of you who are thinking about doing it I'm actually going to be throwing some extra things up into the Dropbox that you have links to uh, that I sent to everyone who made a purchase. So check those links again as we get to the end of the week. I think I'm going to keep adding little tidbits and surprises and letting you know every now and then. It's almost like having a membership to this course um, that you only paid for once. And so if you're interested in uh, joining up on that, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com. It's the same place you'd go to get a session with me. So. What is going on with your astrology this week? Well, this week, um, on Monday, we have Venus, planet of love and harmony in your 10th house of career, forming a tense opposition to Saturn, currently retrograde in your fourth house of home and family. And this always brings up sort of second thoughts, uh, almost like a buyer's remorse kind of energy. That's the, a good way to paraphrase this. And for you, it's happening between career and home. And a new opportunity with your career or with your work may actually come in direct opposition or contrast with a commitment you have recently made to the home or to the family. This could be with your schedule, how it relates to your kids, um, where you just moved or, or purchased a property or sold a home. This is a situation where we cannot have our cake and eat it too. We're going to have to make some kind of compromise if we want to take on this career opportunity or this work opportunity as it is. If you want to pass on it, you know, that's okay to pass on it. Um, you know, like I said, there is going to be more coming your way. I mean, we do have Jupiter in your earned income sector all the way up until October. So if, you, if you'd if rather just let this one by, that's fine. But this may be something to consider if you're, if you've got more, if you're a bit more free, if you're less tied down. On Wednesday, we've got the Sun forming a conjunction to Mars in Leo in your 12th house of home and family. I'm sorry, home and family, I just said that. No, you're past your privacy and your hidden zone. And when we have the sun conjunct Mars, there is a call to go to battle, but this is a battle you need to fight. And this has to do with either a person in your past or a situation in your past as it is brought up again, or it's about to repeat. Now, here's the thing. When the sun conjuncts Mars, we're called to go and do this. It's a test, you know, it's a test of your methods. It's a test of your ability to cut cords and finally be done with it, gone, over with, fin fin you know, finito. And if you pass on this, okay, but I, while Mars is in there, we're talking about cleaning up a lot of the old issues from the past, old loose ends. You know, if those things are still running our life quietly from the subconscious, here's an opportunity to, you know, minimize some of that. And maybe a lot of you Virgos want to do that, okay? So that's what's going on this week astrologically. Let's talk about your cards. Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the hawk. Okay. Trusting what you see and trying not to unsee things this week is going to be very important. And sometimes we want to unsee things. You know, we want to unsee things for other people's sake. How many of you have known a person who just acts a damn fool, you know, and then, you know, maybe 10, 15 mi minutes later, they're all like, oh, yeah, sometimes I go crazy and then I'm just totally fine. You can't unsee a red flag. And you might think like, oh, well, maybe I'm supposed to unsee it. It's considerate. It's not my, you know, not my circus or whatever. Well, the thing about the hawk is you do need to be able to pay attention to those things. You do need to be able to call a spade a spade. Um, you know, with the hawk, it's all about paying attention to when you are seeing the truth and then not lying to yourself, okay? Because we see a choice here in the cards. You know, we've got the hawk looking at the querent in this situation going, 
Do you see what I see? And then we've got the other hawk up here kind of flying away, you know, kind of trying to unsee a situation while there's unattended fires burning on the beach. And I think that for you, what's important to pay attention to is where this is, you know, making you pay more attention, again, to what, it, what you're knowing is the truth versus what you won't accept as the truth. For your Earth sector, when it comes to work and finances, we do have the King of Cups reversed. Somebody's jealousy, uh, insecurity, or possibly even, um, I want to say self-victimizing behavior could actually become a problem for you. And you just do the King of Cups reversed. They're the one that's kind of like doing the spiral down the drain. Um, and this could be somebody who you know, um, somebody who either you work with or it's a collaborator or a client. Uh, most likely a water sign or somebody with a lot of water in their astrology, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. And the King of Cups reversed is kind of... I get this feeling like this person is lashing out this week. And you may actually find that this person could be trying to blame you for the, the sorry state that they are in. Um, in a way that could actually, you know, maybe be a bit reputation compromising. And this could be a situation where, again, this might be somebody from your past. It's important to know how to fight this battle. You know, you may feel bad for them, pity them, whatever you want to do. But I think that with the King of Cups reverse is also saying, like, pay attention. This person is blowing things out of proportion. I know it's 2017 and people don't use this phrase very much. Age of reason. They are an adult. They can handle it. And it does look to me like that's going to come up here, whether it's their professional state, their financial state. Something's going on here where they're kind of trying to push it off on you. Well, if you're worried about money and the commodity, or you're curious about money and the commodity, now we have a good card. As far as your uh, communications with air is concerned, you've got the Nine of Pentacles upright. And you've got an early payout or an early payoff coming your way, Virgos. This could be something that you actually put money in on, whether it's an investment um, or possibly even a check that you expected to come in the mail or some extra work you've taken on or possibly even um, money that's coming through the job that you already have. The Nine of Pentacles, as a, you know, in the air area, does talk about us getting um, either a payout or a payoff much faster than we could have expected. You're already getting sort of your first early harvest kind of energy. Um, and this may actually be something that does shell out quite a bit, or at least predictably quite a bit. If we don't get this all at once, we're definitely counting on this to happen over time um, and be a consistent new stream over time. Usually with the Nine of Pentacles, we see the three harvests going on. And when we look at, um, say, uh, not necessarily astrology, but we can look at, say, even, you know, pagan culture, um, there are three harvests. There's the, the first and the beginning of August, there's the uh, third week of September, and then finally there's what we call Halloween, you know. And so this might actually be kicking off a lot of that energy for a lot of you Virgo people. Three big harvests on the way, first coming this week. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Four of Wands reversed. Safeguarding yourself, safeguarding your energies, safeguarding your environment or the atmosphere you want to be in. Not necessarily a big challenge. In fact, it can actually be a fun thing. Usually the Four of Wands reversed talks about setting up for something great, setting up for something wonderful to happen. You know, when we think about the Four of Wands upright, it's the party, it's the celebration, it's the wedding, it's the gathering. Well, the Four of Wands reversed, okay? Remember, uh, those of you who took the classes with me, that's where we're setting up for the party, okay? We're setting up for the, re the wedding reception. We're getting everything all put together, making everything look picture perfect, doing the set designs and all those things. And your challenge this week with the Four of Wands reversed is allowing yourself to not defer that custom setup to other people. All right, and actually spending some time, you know, working on manicuring and grooming your space, the space that you keep at your office, your home, um, maybe even in your car, or just in yourself and in the company that you keep. And you keep, it's it's not a bad challenge. You may notice that there could be some, some issues going on where you realize you've got to throw some things or some people out. You think you, 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 you thought you couldn't, but it will be a week where it'll be easier to do. All right, for your spiritual, for your earth, I'm sorry, emotions with water. I just got back on vacation. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we've got the hermit upright. 
Interestingly enough, I don't see you being alone this week. I kind of feeling like there's going to be something going on for you single Virgos, but it's going to be somebody who may be a bit out of your way. Somebody's going to be trying to get your attention, but they're not necessarily close by. They're not really available. And you don't really have any common social contacts. The Hermit card can indicate somebody who's quite introverted. They possibly, you know, possibly they live alone. They don't really have a big, you know, very, very active social life. But what I'm seeing with the Hermit card upright is that they actually are trying to get your attention um, and go out of your way to get your attention in subtler ways. Um, they're trying to, you know, mag you know, draw you to them instead of being overt. For those of you who are currently coupled, the Hermit card upright is a bit different. It actually is indicating your partner is trying to pull you away for more alone time. Um, and quite possibly they need to have that with you. They will alone time away from friends, away from the kids, away from uh, work or family. The Hermit card upright is saying that you and your partner are trying to isolate or your partner is definitely going to be trying to isolate a little bit this week. Not a bad thing if you decide to indulge them. So I hope you found this helpful, Virgo. That's your horoscope. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.